Good morning, everybody. What's up, guys and girls? So, uh, so we're gonna head out today. I tried to go out yesterday and get some fishing done, and that didn't work so well. So we uh, we tried a couple places. Nothing was biting. Just tried for potentially some catfish, some white perch. So you know, now I'm I'm heading out. I'm gonna go to another place I haven't been before. Try out a little something different. Um, Park called Port Mahon uh, here in Delaware. And so I'm gonna hopefully see there's not a lot of logged catches on fish brain, uh, but it looks like overall uh, a pretty good space. I mean, just looking at it, it looks like it's a pretty good space. So hopefully what I'm hoping is gonna happen is that uh, we're gonna be able to get out there and throw some, some chicken breast and see if we can get some, some catfish on, see if we can get some maybe some stripers out there. We'll see what happens. We're gonna throw a couple different things, maybe some lures, maybe some plastics. Yeah, we'll just see what we can get, but I'm hoping we'll get something on here. So come along with me, let's see if we can catch some fish, hopefully some big ones. Um, I'd like to get some catfish and put them in the grease for you guys today, because I love fried catfish. So that's that's always one of my goals. Um, if I catch anything else, that's a bonus right now. But uh, I'm trying to put some stuff in the freezer, trying to get some catfish, and so we'll we'll see what we can do. So come along with me, let's see if we can snag some some dirty catfish. Um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll throw a little thread, they'll eat a little steel and we'll be good to go. So I'll see you guys when we get down there. What's up guys, Chris back again. So, uh, so I came out to an area where I've never been before um, to fish. I've been down here one time walking around at a much further down area. So this is called Port Mahon. It's a, a little abandoned port that's in uh, Delaware. So I'm coming down here. I think the, the interesting thing is, is there's a freshwater uh, or brackish water uh, creek that's kind of coming down into this. So, you know, this is a kind of an interesting area because you're going to get a mixture of species here. But I'm really interested. You can see here there's, uh, there's lots of rocks and then there's these little inlets. Um, there's lots of cover and stuff. So I'm hoping maybe what we'll get is uh, maybe I can get into some some bluefish, some kingfish, maybe some some uh, you know maybe maybe we'll get into some stripers. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe some catfish coming out. So we'll see right around the edges here. I'm gonna throw some different things out. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we can uh, throw some thread and have them swallow some some steel and we'll be good to go. And, and hopefully we'll have some good things. So ho hopefully it's a good video. And hopefully we catch some big fish. Oh, all right, so looks like getting down through here is going to be fun. Trying to get across all the big rocks without, you know, breaking my neck. Now it looks like some of this has gotten some, uh, Gotten a little bit of attention from the water. If nothing else, at least from the spray. I'm gonna try to get out. I looked on the map, there's a there's a point out over here that I'm gonna try to get to. Oh, oh these are slick. These definitely are getting some love from the water. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of options for getting to over on the side here. See lots of oyster shells. So at high tide, I would say this is probably, probably fairly covered during storms. This probably gets really covered. As you can see how far up this goes. Man, this is crazy. Ooh. You guys can't probably tell, but it is really, really slick.
trying to be quite careful because if I fall between the rocks and the fact I have all this stuff in my hands, it's going to be a bad day. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, oh, oh. The other thing I'm trying to watch out for is there's like big metal pieces and stuff that you fall on one of those and you're done. I mean, super, super done. gonna jam right through something. All right. Now hopefully it'll be a little easier traversing right here. I can set my stuff down and start getting some whew, lines in the water. Yeah, that's crazy. This is this is super interesting. Like I said, never been out here. Found it on the map and thought, well, it looks like a good idea. <laughs> now this space looks pretty safe, so even as the tide comes in, I think we should be all right putting stuff up here. So I'm going to use this as kind of a, a base camp here. I already got little shells and rocks and stuff in my shoes. All right. So... Let me check. I think right now the tide is actually coming in. So as you can see, I got my fish brain app and I'm going to take a look. Yeah, so high tide is at 3.30. So we're at low tide actually in just a few minutes. And then the tide will shift and start coming in. So we'll see what we can get right now. It might not be such great fishing right now, but I wanted to at least give this place a shot, see what happens and see if we can get some stuff. What's up guys, beautiful day here. Chris back again. So we're, uh, today I'm gonna try to get some catfish. We're gonna do this again. So I'm at a place called uh, Tidbury Creek. Um, so we're out here in Lebanon. And so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what we can get out of here. I think we've got a pretty good chance. I got some chicken uh, with some cherry jello. So. Uh, Thank you to um, Millican Fishing and to Pig Patrol. Um, so both of those are two channels that talk about that. So hopefully we get something good. I'm going to take you guys along. Let's see if we can catch something big. Okay, guys. So I'm not really sure what happened here. Um, somehow in the process of uh, moving around and changing locations, I somehow messed up the audio. So... Uh, I'm just going to kind of give you a, an overview of what happened. So obviously you saw that I, I came to a new location. Um, this is a tidal creek called uh, Tidbury Creek. And um, so you can see here it's actually coming in. The tide was coming in at this point. It was almost at high tide. Um, I got there probably about a good 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour before high tide. Um, I was casting out tried to get catfish, uh, didn't get any bites, got snagged quite a bit, which was a pain. Um, so then uh, my buddy Butch came and said, uh, let's go down a little bit further. He said, there's a corner down here we should check out that somebody who fished a lot in this particular area said that there were some really good sized catfish. And he knew that my goal was getting some catfish and uh, hopefully getting to cook some catfish. That was my big goal. 
So we walked down a little ways from where everybody else were, uh, where everybody else was, and we set up. And you can see we're casting out first cast out. I got almost a four pound catfish, um, and so that was huge, man. I was super excited. It was great. Um, so I, I pulled that one in. Um, we had two lines in the water. We were both, you know, ready to go. Um, so after that, I, I did get a smaller catfish. Butch ended up getting a total of, uh, I think, I think in total he caught four. I caught two. He threw one back and kept three, and I threw one back and kept one. So we ended up with four good-sized catfish. So needless to say, I ate some pretty good catfish. I didn't, uh, didn't get a chance to do the uh, catch, clean, and cook. Um, to show you guys what I did, but, um, but yeah, this was really good. I, I, I apologize. It's, you know, obviously I, as anybody who's been watching knows, I just recently got the, uh, the microphone set up. So this was totally my fault. Somehow I, I either jiggled something loose or I'm not really sure what happened, but something happened and the, it just didn't make the connection. So that's why there's no audio, but thanks so much guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you again on another episode and, uh, you know, please subscribe um, like the video, share the video. I really appreciate all the support. Hopefully we'll have some more coming soon. And, uh, I know I've got something coming up real soon. I think it's going to be cool. I have some stuff from sixth sense, uh, fishing, some lures and some baits and stuff that are coming in. I can't wait to, to test those out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of pig patrol TV. Um, so check out their channel and Ben Milliken, on Millican Fishing, I, you know, huge fan there, and uh, I know they they support Sixth Sense, and you know, I haven't seen a lot of people using and talking about Sixth Sense baits and and pieces that that come from Sixth Sense. So I wanted to put something together and test that out for you guys. So I really hope you'll you'll take a look and see, um, you know, what is to what what's going on with their their stuff. And so I'll hopefully have a video out within the next week or so on that. And uh, just thanks so much for all the support, guys, and, and I really look forward to, uh, to continuing to make videos and hopefully doing some cool stuff for you guys. Thanks so much for spending your time with me, for checking out the video, for spending some time hanging out. Um, hopefully I'll have another new video soon. You guys take care. I'll see you next time.